Hey guys, today I have a haul from a cherryontop.com and I just wanted to start out with a shout out for Michaels and then a little story about Sizzix.com. So on Michaels.com, I ordered some Dilutions items and I ordered two three packs of her shimmer sprays and I, I got it in maybe two days ago. This one, as you can see, the cap is messed up, like, because the nozzle's broken inside here. All I did was call, told them the problem, they apologized, and they are sending me a new one. And this was two days ago. I received it in the mail today and was like, what? <laughs> so I, I already have it. They were so nice. And yeah, Michaels does charge a little bit more than everyone else, but they really represent it on their customer service. Now, so I have, this needs to go in the trash can and I will get out my new one. Now with Sizzix, I ordered that last haul I had, I ordered this and I made a card with it. But this piece right here has a flaw. Let me see. The flaw is right there. You can barely see it, but you can stick your fingernail in it. And it's like the metal is ripped on both sides. So you have to get in there and cut. And actually, it kind of cuts this off and you have to glue it back in. And, you know, that's no fun. So I called them and let them know that had happened. And they said, please send pictures. And I said, well, just so you know, I ordered this Tim Holtz punch. And this right here, let's see if you can see it. The locking mechanism is broken, so it doesn't it doesn't lock. So it just it just doesn't lock. There's a piece that's missing, and it was broken in shipping or manufacturing or whatever. So the one inch punch didn't work. They are being so difficult with the multiple emails and the multiple pictures and. I had a, I made a phone call, then I had to do an email, now I have to do another email, I have to confirm, it, it is ridiculous. So just, I don't know, be aware that Sizzix is going to give you the runaround, whereas Michaels just trusted their loyal customer and has already righted the wrong, which wasn't their fault. It wasn't like they manufactured a faulty nozzle. Gave me no trouble at all. Okay, so just wanted to let you guys know that. With that being said, I did pick up some Sizzix dyes, unfortunately, when I, when I purchased from a cherry on top. And I am trying to get rid of all these shadows. And I've got a, um, a, a light here, but I just don't know if... If I, I don't, I don't understand why I'm getting so many shadows. I'm wondering if it's because I don't have natural light in this craft room. So I apologize for the shadows. Um, but let's get to the good stuff. So from a cherry on top, I ordered this Biggs die, and it is by Jen Long, and it is 3D Rose number two. It is felt flowers. And I saw Mommy and me in her flower swap. Somebody sent in a very similar felt flower. And I was like, I really want that. So I started looking around for a felt flower dye. Well, I knew it needed to be a Biggs dye to cut the felt. So I grabbed this. I think it was on sale $5 off. And, you know, a cherry on top, when you're on their website and you're surfing around, sometimes they'll, they'll say, you just found two cherries. And you click on it. And it banks it. And then if you get, once you get like a thousand of them or however many you get, you save $5, $10 like that. But you also earn them with every purchase. So they have a rewards program just like Michael's. And um, their prices seem to be reasonable to me. Okay, then I saw this one, which was also on sale, like $5 off. This one is Flowers 3D. This is 3D rose number two. This is flowers 3D. So you need a screenshot for the numbers. So these two, I like those. I thought they were so pretty. So anyways, grab those. I cannot wait to play with those. Then I picked up, and this was a pretty, this was a big order for me. I picked up the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Coastal. I only picked up the paper. 
Then I picked up the 49 and Market. It's Spectrum Sherbert. It's a, it says it's a classics collection pack, but they also had this one. And it took, these were on pre-order, so, but it only took a few days for them to come in. Then this is the Spectrum Sherbert Foundations collection pack. I could not decide. I was like, whoa, those are nice. So I really love that. And, you know, I've been playing in my paints and my inks and getting ready to go to the beach. And I just thought, you know what, maybe I will add these in a little bag and take these with me. And I, I bought a paper trimmer, a Fiskars paper trimmer from michaels.com. And I will try that out, see how it does and let people know. Now, 49 and market, I have been eyeing this tape and it goes with this. Now, everybody's been out of it. So I haven't even opened it yet. One roll, five meters, that's a lot. And then it has this optional side cutter where you like fold the box down, install this little enclosed blade or um, tape cutter. And I, I just think this is so cool. Now, I love, love, love fabric tape. And when I saw this in black, assorted black repositionable tape, and it's, let's see, one, two, three, four. So you get this one big one. And then, the, oh, it's sticky. And it reminds me of book binding tape. Oh, and here's the little, here's the little cutter. And, and I thought, you know what? When we're making journals and books and little things like that, this would be so handy. Do I cut this? I think I cut this there. Oh, we're going to see. Let's see how we're supposed to do this. But I just thought black, that, that could be so cool. Make your journal sturdy. And a lot of stores didn't have this in stock. So I, I went ahead and got, oh, I got three. So I got this one and then I got this four inch happiness repositionable fabric tape because I thought this would go great on some of these little cards. Like I won't have a stamp. Don't you love that? And I'm taking these with me and going to pass those out during the summer and have my daughter help me. She's a little shy about doing it and I get it because it's an unusual thing to pass out, you know, little happy notes to strangers, but it's a nice thing to do, and I think people will enjoy receiving them. Okay, so that goes down really easy. Really easy. I just wanted to make sure I didn't tear that. And then this sits right on top. Why did I didn't know I was going to assemble this, but I guess we should see how it goes together. Okay, it just sits right on there. And... Let's see. Yep, yeah, there is a little blade in there. <gasps> this is so cool. Now, I guess you could, I guess you could cut this off or leave it on. And then I'm assuming after you use it, you pick it off and you can, you can take this off or what? That's so cool. Okay, so you get all, these two look like the same size to me. And then, which is probably a very popular size. Then this medium, then this wide. It is sticky, sticky, sticky. That's fantastic. Not over sticky, but that's cool. Okay, so I guess you put them in this way. Put them in by size. Which way does it go? I guess it needs to go above. And of course, I think I have these all upside down. Okay, there. That's so neat. Okay, so let's break open this one. Just trim that. I don't want to cut that pretty packaging. And we'll just check this one out. And it has the blade. And in the picture, you can't see these pretty pinks. So let's see if we can find the pink. I mean, that's so cool. Look at that. You could put this on a tag and have a fabric tag. That's amazing. You could make fabric pockets backed in paper. 
That is so beautiful. Okay, so I'm in love with this. I right, so grab that one. And then this one, you know, well, now let's open it. I can't, I can't take it. I was going to say I should leave it shut. So when I travel with it, it doesn't open, but I can restick it. Kind of see what kind of sayings it says. I love newspaper clippings. So I might happy go lucky. I thought, you know, it, all these art cards, they, these art notes, they don't have to, you know, be like so inspirational. They could just be like happiness. So the definition of happiness, good fortune, prosperity, and that might be the sign of a B. So we shall see now. It's sticky and it will stick on there, but it's also, how cool is that? Oh my gosh, this would make an amazing tag. It can also be glued down. So these, uh, okay, I'm, so you get a ton. So how many, what did it say, five meters? Yes. So many, many feet. Love it. Very sturdy roll. I have my little blade in there. Let's make sure I have everything the way I need it. Yes. And I think it can go just, yes, it can go just like that if you don't have the blade on it. Look at that. It's perfect for, would that not be a nice gift for somebody? That is a really nice little scrapbooking gift or card making gift or whatever you choose. Okay. I picked up two other things. Poochie Tats. If you ever watch her channel, she was making some bows and she had this she she was using puffy fabric paint to drizzle over the bows. It looked like, I don't know, like frosting or ice cream dripping. And then she was sprinkling them in sequins. And this was maybe two weeks ago that she did this. And I and that was around like that day. I was actually watching her video on a Sunday and surfing around on a cherry on top while I was drinking my coffee and found this because she was doing that. So I grabbed some puffy paint and this tulip was metallic. It's dimensional fabric paint and it was on sale. So I just grabbed that because I thought, ooh, metallic. So that one was on sale and this was like $2 and change. $2. It was less than $2 and 50 cents, I believe. I thought that was a great price. I would put it on this, but this is vinyl. I don't think it would stick. I think it needs to be either fabric or paper to stick. But I grabbed these and you can get these at any craft stores. And it's really cool. You should go to her channel and look at it. I believe in the picture, it is no more than two weeks ago. Like you see the bows in her hands. Okay, so where shall we start? You know what? We'll start with this one that's on top, 49 and Market Spectrum. And Spectrum Sherbert Foundation. So, includes eight double-sided papers, one each. All right. Oh, wow. Look at the back of that. This is thick. This is thick, nice paper. Look at that. I did not realize you got little ephemera pieces that you can cut out with the paint swatches. And Oh, I love that. Let me just come up close so you guys can see. And hopefully... I think when I come up close, I don't have a shadow problem. So there you go. I'll come back down low. And oh my goodness, that's beautiful. So they're double-sided, okay. And it's a nice watercolor light. This is brighter than this. So let's see, this is going to, yeah, this is just, you know, an identical match. Oh, love it. So these were, these were kind of pricey, but you get a lot. So now, and, and then they have that blade in there. So really they're a reasonable value for how much you get. Okay. But I like, I have a thing with fabric tape ever since Tim Holtz released his fabric tape at Christmas one year, I just have been on the hunt for fabric paint and it's hard to find fabric paint, fabric tape. Oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. This is, this like, I love this. Okay, I'm very happy with this. This I thought was really neat on the, I won't get this up too high. I mean, I'll come up a little bit, but this is very pretty. I mean, like you could cut a circle 
out of here, and that would be amazing. This is more of a, this is more of a warm tone. It's beautiful ambers. And each one of them appears to say the same thing on the bottom back. Due date, a bus owner, AI service. I'm not sure how to pronounce that word. The pineapple nursery. And not sure what that says. I think it's supposed to say universal right there. So you have a you have a you have your warms. So I'm sure they're gonna have cools. This is so pretty. And this just and this just reminds me of what you can do on a gel press with your stamps and your paints. And then it looks like the back side is just going to be the same but a different color. Going back between all these colors. This is such nice paper. So beautiful. Let's see. Let's see their name. This one says patchwork. This one says speckled. This one is prism. And this one is kaleidoscope. Okay. This one is washed and it looks like a lace doily right there. And, oh, I like this side. I like this side better on this one. I love this. That would make a great um, accent strip, especially on a, a, one of those big tags I like. It's beautiful pink. And washed, okay? This one is painted. Let's see, painted foundations. Do they? Yeah, they all say painted foundations, and then this one is painted. Hopefully, my light is agreeing with me. Beautiful. Love it. Oh, and then orange on the back. That's pretty. This one is rainbow. And I love the print back here. There's, looks like ribbon, maybe lace. You just corrugated cardboard, um, some kind of a rubber stamp rolled across it. It's really cool. And then the green, that's pretty. I do like these sides the best, but these are beautiful. Oh, this one's very light. This one is sprinkled. Oh, and it does have all the colors kind of sprinkled on there and then this is kind of a grayish blue a slate blue I don't know if the colors coming across like that very pretty very subtle see on this one I like this side better so okay so that's this pack let me show the cover of this one so you can see all the different designs. That's beautiful. Okay. Now this one, ooh, I'm excited. I can't wait to flip this over. This is the Spectrum Sherbert Classics. And let's compare. Let's compare these two pieces. So this one has like the tickets, the watercolor paint swatches, Butterflies, more tickets, a little collage. This one has blank tickets and flowers and butterflies. That would be easy to collage with. Okay. All right, I'm going to make sure I don't get these mixed up. And this, you see, this matches perfectly with that as well. And actually, this goes very nice too. Oh, I didn't even think the black. I mean, the black would be a nice pop of color on this. Okay. So, this one, we looked at the front. Oh, look at the butterflies. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. This is Butterfly Flight. Oh, my goodness. That's gorgeous. This 
it's just the back of it. Wow. Absolutely love that. That's a tough choice right there. This is Splendored. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm really loving flowers lately. I don't know if it's because it's spring. I, I don't know. Oh, that's beautiful. Very, very subtle, but you can see all the stenciling in the matching colors on each strip with the letters. Beautiful. This is Brumbleberry. Gorgeous. I just, why I have so many shadows is beyond me. There's probably a special light I need, but I would rather buy press supplies than a light. <laughs> okay, in the back. Oh, I love it. I love pink and orange together. So it's pink, orange, and then goes into yellow. And there's like a newspaper print and some kind of picture frame. This one is strawberry mango. That's pretty. I see Paris right here. That's beautiful. <gasps> Ooh, I love that. Oh, I hope there's more like this. I love this. That's gorgeous. Strawberry mango. Let's look at these two side by side. Very pretty. They go well together. I am dying over that. You just can't see in the pictures online when you're looking on your cell phone, but you can tell all oh, these colors. I like these colors. This is lemonade. That's pretty. Look at that beautiful butterfly flower. Oh boy, that's good stuff right there. And this says, this has a word down here, sweetest. I like that. I absolutely love this. This one is Limeade. Absolutely gorgeous. And just look at this. My gosh, this could keep you busy for hours. Cutting, trimming, placing. I love this. I mean, I could just, I could just stare at this. So beautiful. And I love like library cards. I just love library cards. Library cards and tickets are like my weakness. So beautiful. And this is cotton candy. It's that pretty. It's very, there's pink. It's like a real, really, really subtle pink. And then uh, like a blue, very light blue, a little darker than this blue. That's beautiful. That looks like a little bit of purple spaced around. That is stunning. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see the back. Oh, and the back is completely different. It's just your cool colors. And I like that. It's a blank slate. You can do anything with it. I wonder what so look how good these tickets would look on here oh my gosh look at that all right moving on this might be the last one yeah this is blue moon absolutely gorgeous and i'd say this is like a tan color and then your blues and your whites a little bit of that violet purple coming in and more tickets. Love this. And this is very teal and blue. This is a teal blue. Wow. I cannot wait <laughs> to start cutting this up. I don't know. Are the rest of you like that? Do you just love to just start, just start cutting the paper? I just love it so much. All right. Here is Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Coastal. And I had a hard time choosing because they have a really cute summer collection. And then they had this vintage coastal. And I was like, oh, which one do I choose? I wound up choosing this one because I knew there was no way I could use both of them. And this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Look at that. I mean, that 
could be a boat. Like that in and of itself. Let me get one of these big tags. You could cut this around one of these tags, stick it on the tag to make it, or just stick the tag down behind it. And of course that's, that's really nice. I just like things sturdy. And so you've got from here, you've got these birds all the way. You have all of this in one of these big mixed media tags. That is phenomenal. Let's leave this tag right here. See what, oh, look. Then you can get all of this. And then you could have small tags. If you, you know, if you were doing tags or tickets or whatever you were doing. This would be cool to stamp tickets on. Or a library card. I need a library card stamp. Love that. Okay, this one is Beach Vibes. So gorgeous. Oh, this is a map. Let's see. Get my light on it. Get my arm out of the way. I can't tell there. That's... I just don't know. Do you guys notice that my light causes a problem normally? Or is it just something that I recently noticed? That is so beautiful. Like I said, I picked this up at a cherry on top. Dot com. This one is Sandy Toes. Love this part. They're really cute. Love this. Love that. That's beautiful. Okay. Oh, wow. See you soon. Oh, my gosh. That This is my favorite color of all time. This tealy ocean blue color. I move my arm. That's gorgeous. This one is on island time. Beautiful. Beautiful. I always like wood sheets that you can use them for so many things, you just have to remember which collection has the wood in it. This one is Let's Get Lost. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. See now this one, you can also do a tag like this and then you'd have all this space to here to maybe put something on top, have it coming in, put your sayings, love it. Oh, look at those flamingos. You could cut out a flamingo and put it on there. Wouldn't that be cute? Love them. They're darling and they're facing each other. Little boats. Now, this paper is not near as thick as the 49 in Market, but it's a good quality paper because it's simple stories. That's just gorgeous. And you can see little boats, and sh I mean, ships and boats in the background and maps. Oh, look at that. So pretty. This is rest and relax with your hibiscus flowers. And love this. This looks like palm fronds. And then... You know, I see Atlantic Ocean, like the globe, a map, I like that. Ugh. Right, this is gorgeous. Paradise found. This is stunningly beautiful. Again, do that. It wouldn't matter that a piece cut up. You could make an even bigger tag. You could. I wish I had one of my big, heavy-duty ones from Ranger, those thick board ones that would be pretty mounted. Even just that would be pretty mounted on one of those and just propped up on a plate stand. Oh, that's neat. So this is kind of pink, pink and white. And it looks like you're 
like your locations when you're trying to pinpoint with the numbers with a compass beautiful that is so gorgeous look at these flowers oh nice so look it didn't even matter that i did not get the ephemera because i have the two by two element sheet and that is perfection I hope they didn't put something. I can't cut it on the back. Do you guys ever get like that? Like you're like, oh my gosh, I just, I can't cut this piece because the back's too pretty. And then you have to buy another set. <laughs> no, okay, that's pretty though. That's a beautiful background. Absolutely love that. Let's so see how many you get. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 36. That's amazing. Look, that's really cute with the, like, I like how little the little birds are. The little seagulls. So pretty. Then here's your elements. Your 3 by 4 elements. And that's just the title of it. I love that so much. So if they have a 6 by 6 or a 6 by 8 pad, that would be really nice for things to sit around, like little home decor pieces, because I bet that's in there. Hello from our happy place. Oh, wouldn't that be nice to mail that to somebody who you're on vacation? That would be a really cool postcard. And look, you can jot your little memories or put a picture there. He's so cute. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Love that, and it has stitching. That's pretty. It just says, let's sail away. That's pretty. That's cute. I am just dying over this. I get this, get my shadow off. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And then your seashells. This is the four by four elements. Well, this should keep me busy. If I have any time, if I have any time to create while I'm gone for the summer and visiting relatives and going around, I will definitely try to record it. I don't know how good the recordings will be, but I will definitely try. Four by four elements, that is gorgeous. Look at these. That's cute. And in the back, oh, that's beautiful. I don't know if you can see the ships and the like Eastern Island. I can't read that. That's so beautiful. Those colors are so gorgeous together. And then this is probably the last, the four by six. And this is just fantastic. Live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink the wild air. Island vibes, so cute, that's cute. Live in the beach life. Of all the paths you take in life, make sure a few are sand. Oh, that's darling. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, so this one's the four by six elements. And then you have really pretty pineapples with that same wording in the background. So everything is cohesive and matches. And this, when I took this out of the, pa the package, it said paradise right here. But when they packaged it, the sticker was actually stuck to that. So it got ripped, so I just tossed it. So this was, this is the combo cardstock stickers. Your little tag, that's cute. That's neat. And I mean, it's a cute sticker sheet, but I like the element sheets better on this collection, but I do love these. I do love these tickets and these little swatches um, and the sayings. I love these. So I believe that is my haul from, oh wait, I see one more, two more things I grabbed. I grabbed these buttons. They're buttons galore and more. They're the nautical. I thought if I have time, I could try to do a little mermaid voodoo doll. And they're, it's called Beach Treasures. So I grabbed that. It really goes with this. I mean, 
gosh, I could use it with, I was just very, feeling very islandy. And then I grabbed this for next year for Valentine's Day because they had it in stock and most places have sold out. The Doodlebug Washi Tape Sweet Stamps. And it's just the, you know, those little stamps that match. Is it Love Notes Collection? I'm not sure what collection. It's this most recent collection. So it does say it's slightly transparent, but we can always put that on cardstock and make that cute. Oh, 14 cents. They all say 14 cents for February 14th. How cute is that? Look at that a little. I mean, that's not even necessarily Valentine's because it's a pencil and a piece of um, notebook paper. That's darling. Then you get the mail, a rainbow, heart balloons. Okay, I think that's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.